we'll have a jockey change to be announced for the one Cena be first. That's a look at the scratches and changes. The track at Indiana Grand is muddy. We're off the turf today. Got about 12 minutes to race number one. Have fun. And good luck. We are 10 minutes to the opener here at Indiana Grand, and we are going to start here with a maiden special weight six furlongs on the muddy main track. The two Miss Alejandra is out. Got five horses left in this field, and none of which have ran on an off track before or raced on an off track. So I'm not sure if they've ever worked in the morning on an off track. I didn't check every single <laughs> every single work. Some of these have a lot um, of works recently as well, which is to their credit. I'm going to start here with the six. The six right now is three to one. The five at three to five right now. Um, but the outside Pioneers Candy short field. Um, so it's not bothering me at all. Manny Esquivel, very capable um, jockey and Sippy, a, a very capable trainer in Cipriano Contreras. This is a three-year-old daughter of Pioneer of the of the um, Nile. And this one last time out was the very first time running at a sprint. Had ran three times in a row at a route. So this is the sex, second time going sprint distance and is moving up a little bit to six furlongs. I liked the move, even though it was third by seven and a half lengths. I know it's going to um, turn some people off, but went from fourth by eight links and then made a little bit of a move there at the end. I think if she would have had a little bit more real estate uh, would have been an even better finish for her uh, first time at a sprint. And that was on April 14th here at Indiana Grand. And then I'm going to go to the inside to the favorite at three to five. And that is uh, 13 stripes. Um, this one, obviously a Steve Asmussen trainee has good numbers, obviously, but even with a uh, first time and the debut a maiden special weight, 18%, um, and what I really like is Constitution, the sire, is 18% uh, win clip with first-time starter. And then I'm going to go to the three, Balladora. Balladora um, right now is 6-1 to one on the tote board, and it's going to round out my trifecta. Jesus Castanon is a very capable uh, veteran jockey, one of my favorites. Um, and this one's moving down. Last time out was on March 20th, Fairgrounds. Um, Fairgrounds and Oakland shippers do really well here in Indiana. And I think that's going to be the case for this three-year-old daughter of Shackleford coming from a maiden 75,000 at the distance of six furlongs here to Indiana, I think is going to uh, like the softer group. So I have six, five, three here in the opener at Indiana Grand. Good luck.
Phillies and mares are on the track. First race, Indiana Grand. Scratch number two, Miss Alejandra. No super factor wagering. Exacta trifecta, daily double, pick three wagering. As well as the pick four. Offered as exotic options in the first race. Low takeout on the pick fours here at Indiana Grand of just 15%. Post time in approximately five minutes. Track at Indiana Grand is muddy and we're off the turf today.
approaching the gates. And the Phillies and Mayors have reached the starting gate for the first race from Indiana Grand. Four to five on the five, 13 stripes. Five to two on the six, Pioneers Candy. The track is muddy, we're off the turf today. Too much rain overnight here in central Indiana. 13 stripes goes in for my race for stable. Pioneers candy to the outside. They're off and running at Indiana Grand. Sluggish start for Lilacs. As it's Iron Lady away, who sends out for the front end. Belladora displaying speed outside second. A margin of four lengths back to 13 stripes in third. It's about a length and a half in front of Pioneer's Candy. And the Blue Blingers in fourth. And a margin of three lengths to Lilacs at the back of the pack. They pass the half mile pole and it's Iron Lady away who leads this group into the far turn to lead to half length. Belladora is applying the heat outside second. 13 stripes races third, six lengths off the lead. Pioneers Candy niggled the punt in fourth and Lilacs is now out of last and is about seven lengths off the lead. They wind their way to the quarter pole. Belladora has headed Iron Lady away. 13 stripes and Lilacs are bearing down outside third and fourth. Pioneers Candy's been shuffled back to the tail of the field. Field. They got three sixteenths to go, and it's Belladora on top. Has a lead by a couple of lengths. 13 stripes now bearing down on the outside, and 13 stripes of favorite comes to tackle Belladora at the 16th pole. Belladora, 13 stripes, 13 stripes, tags her inside the 16th pole for the win. Belladora second, then it was Lilacs and close for four. Five, three, four, one, the five, 13 stripes first.
back to the winner's circle, the 513 stripes. Kentucky bred, three-year-old duck run for the by Constitution out of distinctly Wildwood. Owned by My Racehorse Stable, Steve Asmussen, the trainer, and Jermaine Bridgemahan. The winning jockey aboard, 13 stripes. Lynn Jones, Kathy Jones, and Windstar Farm. The breeders of 13 stripes. The first race at Indiana Grand is official. The exacta, $18. 50 cent trifecta, $14.50. Second race, Indiana Grand. There are no changes. Exacta, trifecta, superfecta, daily double, and pick three wagering. Post time, race two in about 22 minutes.